We're getting closer to the 2022 election, but here in Arizona, we're still hearing a lot about 2020. State Attorney General Mark Brnovich just announcing partial results of his office's investigation into Maricopa County's election procedures. Zach Crenshaw with us now, and Zach, the reaction to his findings pretty swift tonight. Yeah, and unsurprisingly, they quickly caused a firestorm on social media with people cherry picking phrases to fit their narrative. The big takeaways, though, Faye, Attorney General Brnovich says his investigation, quote, revealed serious vulnerabilities that must be addressed and raises questions about the 2020 election in Arizona. His letter laid out general concerns about document preservation and potential issues surrounding early ballot drop boxes and signature verification. The report had multiple policy recommendations, but nowhere did it suggest widespread voter fraud or outline any evidence of wrongdoing that impacted the election. Maricopa County officials once again pushing back on claims that the 2020 results are somehow not valid. Board of Supervisors Chairman Bill Gates and County Recorder Stephen Richer, both Republicans, writing in a joint statement tonight that the AG's new report, quote, includes no new evidence, nothing that would have changed the results, and nothing that should lead people to question the overall health of our electoral system. They ended with saying Maricopa County election workers followed the laws as they were written in 2020. If the AG wants different laws, he's welcome to advocate for them, end quote. Of course, there are a litany of election-related bills already being discussed at the state level, many of which are likely to pass. As for the 2020 election, guys, the debate and scrutiny still not over.